once upon a time in a kingdom far, far away. There lived a king who hated his children. His name was King Josiah I of Nagoa Kingdom. Hey, that's me you're talking about. I don't hate my children. It just so happens that... Why don't you tell your story while I tell mine? But you... No, no buts, my lady. Each man tells his own story. Ah. Okay, scrap that. Once upon a time, in the faraway land of Tutapa, there lived a beautiful, fearless princess who loved life to the fullest. Her name was Princess Adesua. She was the only sister of powerful King Isodua I of Utapa Kingdom. Oh, life was beautiful for Princess Adesua. She had all she wanted. She was the charm of Utapa. Oh, life was so beautiful. Come on, cut the crap and give us the real gist, I beg. Patience, my king. Patience. Well, Princess Adesua was glamorous. She was the envy of our peers. She loves parties and good company. Until one day, the brother said, You have no sorrow whatsoever. All you do is spend money, party, fashion, and sway your big fat hips around my palace. Our palace, you mean, brother? <laughs> I am giving you away in marriage to a worthy prince. Oh. Hmm. The prince better be charming and very, very loaded, brother. <laughs> oh. You forgot to mention that she loves money. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Prince Gorgeous is loaded all right, but with much more than money.
Take it easy. Huh. See why I said I preferred my own mate. Where are my mates anyway? The king asked that they return to you, Tapa. What? Without my consent? When? When I deemed it fit. Your maids have overstayed. Besides, I have enough servants in our room to take care of whatever need you may have. Even if you have a truck full of servants, you could have at least consulted me before relieving the mates that came with no me. No one questions my authority. You may leave. What? You're joking, right? Mind you, do not show your presence until I ask to see you. All I know is duty. I live to preserve tradition. I live to preserve the will of my father and my people's wish. As a king, my duty comes first, even before my wife and kids. And there's nothing I can do about it. That's just the way it is. this time again? I don't know. He called for me and I said I wasn't in the mood. And the next thing I heard was a slap across my face. Oh, Lucy, I'm dead. <laughs> no, you are not dead yet. My king. But I promise you, you will be the next time you refuse me! left our children for two days without notice. But I already explained to you that duty called. After all, I called you from there. What duty? What call, Maureen? I put it to you that this attitude of yours is, is, is highly responsible. Irresponsible, huh? Yes. Gross misconduct, Maureen. Highly irresponsible. I mean, a lot of women will, will give an arm and a leg for, for, for being in the position that you're in. And what else do you want, Maureen? What else? Fabian, why? Well, like your brother warned, 
you're a sport brat and you need to be tamed. So now go clean up and join me in my I chambers. am not coming. Yes, you are. It is your duty. <laughs> Fabian! Count me out tonight! You will do as I please! I'd rather die than have you touch me with those filthy hands of yours. I know how to deal with stupid dancers like you. I will beat the madness out of you, okay? You will do my bidding. I'll tell you your king. You're a shameless king. You made all of you shameless. You call me, you call me shameless. You dare call me shameless. I'll make sure you never talk to me in this manner again. You, you will do my the next time I demand something of you, you will give it up, okay? I am your king! Do you hear that? Again? Thank you. You may leave. Go, go. Leave! What's wrong? Eh? Not again. You're drunk again. Darling, what more is there to do than to be drunk and living my life? Come, come, let's go. What more is there to do than to be drunk? Come, it's okay. Hey, 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 hey. Just gather yourself, okay? to protect my marriage. Oh, Lord. All I ask for is just one hitch free day. Help me to be all my husband wants me to be today, Lord. Please, please. Nice meal. Just tell the cook to watch the salt next day. Yes, Your Highness. Your Highness, I um, overheard a conversation you had with the state delegates today. Uh, with the state delegates today. Yes, even though I didn't mean to. And um, I was of the opinion that Aramek could do with some support on this project, as it were. And I think we should just um, accept the state's um, support. Why is that? Well, you know, two heads are better than one to see. And um, the project is for the benefit of all. So I just feel Arame can do with all the support he can get right now, wherever it's coming from. Even though I know very well that we can do it alone. But since the support will not um, affect the ownership of this project at all, and since that will not stop Arame from maintaining full control of the project. So I think we should just... Can you please... Can you see it's late? Let's make it more of 
is something love like... did she say love considering this arrangement of ours i've told you more times without number okay this is not an arrangement it's a marriage can you please stop bothering me with this fallacy of yours you and i both know this this Marriage is just to fulfill our parents' wish. What more do you want, Mari? What do you want? After two lovely kids, you're still holding on to the past? Do I have to do this each time I want to make love to you? Josiah, we don't make love. We copulate. Let's just try and make this work. Okay, I can love you. I feel something for you in there. You're the mother of my children. Come on, let's give this a chance. Good night, Josiah. Moreover, you're too big. You bruise me. What? Yes, you heard me. I'm still hurting from the last time. You're, you're, you're just unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Can you say such a thing for My king, may you live long. Where are you coming from? Get out, both of you. My king. I am coming from the Arume Women's Meeting. You sent me, Your Highness. And your queen's instinct didn't tell you when to leave. Not so. My king, please don't let us start up again tonight. Please. I will teach you what they did not teach you in your father's house. <laughs> Next! <laughs> you Come on in time. You hear me? <laughs> I am sorry at this war, but you have to go back to your husband. You just have to grow up at this war. He's a beast. He will kill me. I have always known Fabian to be a complete gentleman to the oh. core. He calls me every time with sweet reports of you. Oh, God. You just have to stop being a sports child. I am not a child. I'm a grown woman. <laughs> I am a queen. An abused queen! I guess you are! <laughs> Am I such a burden on you that you want me dead? Don't talk like that! Oh! If only father was alive! He will never trade me to the beast, bad as I may be! Richard, all I want is you to complete me, my queen. <laughs> I blessed the day I found you. Oh, Richard, I just, I love you. I love the way you make me feel, the way you hold me and touch me and just so tight. Oh, I will miss that and much more. I want to. Let's let's use the room, Your Highness. Nobody tells me what to do, okay? I see you've chosen a wonderful time to return home. So this is what I come home to? You didn't think for a second that I was going to mourn your exit, did you? Well, you should have chosen a more worthy rival, not a servant! I am warning you! Okay? Don't get me started! <laughs> oh. This is risky. I can't be here for too long. I would have been more comfortable if we went to our little haven. I know, but I'm just trying to divert attention from my movements. 
I think he's starting to suspect me. It is riskier doing it within the palace. Well, he has no business swooping around here at this time of the day. It's the Queen's room. What if he does? Does what? He finds us here. He won't, Richard. He won't. <laughs> You know this will not work. And you know why. Pardon me, Your Highness. I'm sure you know what to do. It is best for us all. I'm sorry, my queen. You took advantage of me. That's what it does to most of the girls in this palace. Anyone who dares refuse him find themselves in trouble. I'm sorry too. the audacity to fire my servant. Your concubine, you mean? Look, I am in charge of this kingdom. I am king. Then be a good king. All I ask is a little respect, a tiny little bit of respect from my husband. Is that too much to ask? Nobody questions me. Fabian, what sensible king beat up his queen? You have relegated me to nothing! <laughs> I detest being questioned. Now you will shut up and listen! Never again! I will never shut up ever again! This <laughs> Murderer, you killed my sister, and I will get justice for it if it is the last thing I do. What are you living at it? Living? You're asking me to live when all I want to do is keep an eye on her children? You're awful. It is. When are you living? I am not living. I am staying right here to take care of my sister's children. <laughs> it is. I know what you want, but you're not going to get it. Who gives a hoot about you? 
There are thousands of men out there who want me, and I don't need you. I never said anything like that. It's time for you to leave it. You're chasing me. I am not leaving this place. I am here to take care of my sister's children. <laughs> Edith, since when did you become so dutiful? But it's my responsibility to take care of the kids. Well, they are my kids. And it is now my responsibility. You've done enough for the past 13 months. But you need a woman to take care of these children. And that woman is not you, Edith. I'm relieving you of every of your responsibilities. But how will you cope? They are handful for anyone. <sighs> you know, Edith, honestly, I don't trust you with my kids. And honestly, I don't know what you told them, but their behavior towards me have changed ever since you came. You mean since their mother died? Edith, let's say this is your escape ticket. I'll get my kids another nanny, and you can take your time to look for that lucky husband of yours. Well, I... Abused, bashed, and destroyed. Queen Adesua ran away from the palace. King Fabian seized all her traveling documents as well as her self-esteem and confidence. What else is there to live for? It was best she left, she thought, away from friends and family, away from the danger that her husband, King Fabian, posed. Queen Adesua ran away to a faraway land in search of peace and acceptance. my guest habit. You can stay as long as you want it. Please. Oh, thank you very much, Mahmoud. Thank You're you welcome. so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate this. You're welcome, always. I just want you to be very, very comfortable and just be yourself, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, thank let, you. Me, let me call. Excuse me. Thank you.
you can deposit the money in my account. How many reals? 15,000 reals. Okay. Okay, use my Dubai bank. Thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll, yes, yes, my Dubai bank. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Adesua. Yes, my lord. Please marry me. You won't regret it. Come on, Mahmoud. I, I, I know you've always looked out for me ever since we were in the university. Even though your brother did not stop hating me, I still continue loving you. And I want to love you till the end. Give me a chance, please. I don't know, Mahmoud. It's just... Come on. What? Everything is different now. Everything is different. I can't just stand here and watch you suffer in the hand of one beast. I want to take care of you. And if he ever comes near you, I swear I'll fix him where he belongs. Come on, Dad. It's golf time. <laughs> hey, Khalid. Uh, just give me ten minutes. I'll be with you. Hmm? Did you say ten minutes? I said ten minutes, yes. Okay, Dad. Don't give me anything. Love not. you. <laughs> Love you, too. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Did you just say golf? Yes, I do play golf with my children. They give me joy, happiness. That boy is barely five. Yeah, he's my last born. How many kids do you have now? Uh, just seven from two wives. Oops. <laughs> Mama, that will make me want no, 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 no. Forget about the number. It's not about number, it's about love, care. And you know I'm capable of doing it. I have the money. I have that power. Oh. Please.
Nanny for my children. I am the maid, Your Highness. You, Melissa? Yes, Your Highness. Um, this is Melissa, your new nanny. <laughs> Children, what is it? Elmer's father. Madam. What? <laughs> Me? Mm -mm, your second. Okay, children, don't start, please. Melissa? No, Miss Melissa. At your service, young friends. demand an apology right now. I demand an apology. David! Who are you to correct my child? Children, are you referring to us? Of course I'm referring to you. Excuse me, we are royalties, so you refer to us as my princess and my prince. Where are your manners? Beg your pardon? I thought you said you're eight years old. That is very cocky. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> now that is cocky. Um, may I have a word with you, Your Highness? Yeah, make it brief. Your Highness, why are your children not in school? Oh, that. It's a long story. The death of their mother affected the children a lot. And the last thing I need is for some unskilled teacher to come and compound the emotional troubles by beating them up or calling them sport. Your Highness, you mean you do not want your children to be disciplined? Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't put it that way. You see, one day they came home and... Anything else? Well, Your Highness, I... Did you, did you go to school? Of course I... Sorry, Your Highness. What's the problem? Why are you going? I'm never coming back to this palace again. Why? These evil children, they turned me to Mumu because of money. Money? Money. Get them another teacher to humiliate. Hey! 
I heard your teacher left today. I was trying to. Shh. I'm sure you have your reasons. I will make sure I get a better teacher for you guys. Thank you, Daddy. Good. But you must promise me to be of good behavior this time around. Yes, Daddy. Thank you. You're welcome. Your Highness. Miss Melissa. Yes, David. We are trying to find out if you have any child. Of course I don't. Why do you ask? We just asked. Are you pregnant? <gasps> pregnant? Of course not. Why do you say so? Yes, so Mac. Yes, if you are. Are you children trying to embarrass me? Miss Melissa. Yes, David. How old are you? That is not proper. You don't ask a lady for her age. Why not? Elizabeth, it's a personal question. And really, it is none of your business. It is not right to ask a lady for her age. It is just like asking a lady for the color of her undies, for example. That is rather rude. You are just like the others. The others? Who? The other ladies. They come here pretending to like us, pretending to be nannies. Why not you just come out clean? What are you children talking about? You like our daddy, don't you? David, what is this all about? You want to take our mom's place. Elizabeth, my goodness, you children are unbelievable. Huh. Many, many. Many start to one. Many start of Africa. I know. Ibro, hmm? I have told you times you down number. Okay. I am not Meli, Meli. My name is Melisha. Melissa? <laughs> anyway, I was just coming to see you, Ibro. How come those children's rooms are dirty like that? Oh, those ones, don't disturb yourself. They do that in order to put us in trouble. As how? They scatter the room as soon as it is arranged in order to put us in trouble with the king. And they are doing that because of you. Because of me? Why? <laughs> they are tired of you. I was even surprised I even stayed long. You were the first man to stay long in this palace. Huh? 
But Ibo, I have only been here for just about two weeks. Oh, see you. You even stay long. Some people know they use three hours. What? Water. See down there. Those boys, those speaking, prince and princess. They are uh, mounted. In fact, leave their home. How do they find you? You why? sabi use BBM. BBM. I want to install. You get one person, give me in pain. Ibro, what are hmm? you supposed to be doing by this time? Pinging. By this time of the day? Talking. Go and find something to do. To... You're proud. Just go. Hey. 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 This early morning. Uh -uh. Hey. That's mine. Yes, it is yours. And I just confiscated it. You can't do that. Oh, I just did. And I will not give it back until you put this place in order. You are disturbing us now. You will put this place back in order right now. I want my mommy. Stop it. Stop it right now, Elizabeth. You're making me sick. Ugh. What will I do? And I can't afford to leave now. You know, this my mouth will not get me into trouble. Why didn't I just leave those children alone? Uh, eh? uh, Melly? Melly's heart? Ibro, hmm? my name is not Melly. My name is Melissa. What is your problem? No, Vess, you know that you're babbling on her tongue. Melissa, what do you want? Melissa. What do you want? I've been finding you now. Finding me? Yes. For what? You know what? I don't need to tell you all this way. Check me out. Look at me. Look at me. See as I do. She not fine. I know her song. I don't tell you, say, make me with you, make the rocker for this palace. Hey! I don't go for it. I don't go for it. I don't want to go for it. I'm in love with you. Oh, God! What do you want? I'm sorry. You better be. Somebody's finding you. Me? Mm -hmm. Who? Brother, how did you find me here? Come on. That is a very rude way to welcome your king. I'm sorry, my brother. Cut the formality, sister. I am here to see how you are doing. Brother, we spoke not quite long ago. You did not give me the impression that you knew where I was. So what are you doing here? <laughs> you know your brother, I always have my ways. Your GPS gave you a wing. Oh, technology. I'm going to turn it off right away. <gasps> the first time we spoke, you told me you were in Abuja. Your GPS gave me this location, so I sent my boys to confirm, and they came back and confirmed it. So I said, let me come and see for myself. So, you have been trailing me, brother. You actually do care about me. No, no, it's not. Look, it, it doesn't matter. They told me you were a nanny. And here you are dressed in, 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 in a maid's robe. What got into you at this war? What is the matter with you? Melissa, please, keep your voice down. You never liked that name. Obviously, it is appropriate around here. Brother, I needed to find Soli somewhere. Somehow, I found this place, and it's just what I needed. Can't you see, brother? He can't find me here. He can't bully me here. Brother, please, I don't want to lose my job. You have to go now. Job? You? Please don't expose me, brother. You have to go now. Listen. You are living with me right now. <laughs> to your palace or to my husband's palace? <laughs> Not today, my king. Not ever. Your Highness, you sent for me. Yes, Melissa. Ensure my children are proper for dinner. We're having a guest dining with us tonight. Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> well, that is how the game is played. Seriously. You know, that is how it's been played. Seriously. Uh, well, yes, these are my children. That is Elizabeth and uh, this is David. Elizabeth, David. Yes. That's their nanny, Melissa. Ooh. Melissa. Nice name. <laughs> you sort of look familiar, though. No, 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 brother. I, I don't. 
I've never met you. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> of course you have never met him before. You couldn't have. Well, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's dig in. Let's dig in. <laughs> Melissa. Nice. Nice meal. Lovely meal. Thank you. My kids told me that Melissa assisted in cooking it. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I don't cook, Your Highness. Sorry, I mean, I just, I didn't really. I... Melissa, tell me, what is a pretty girl like you doing with the job of a nanny? <laughs> My king, do you have a better option for her? I mean, she's elegant. Perhaps the crown of a queen will fit perfectly in my head. A queen? This one? <laughs> Melissa, so, how old are you? It's a personal question, and really, it's none of your business. David? She said it. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but I understand. Um, so, M Melissa, are you in a relationship? Your Highness, I... <laughs> Do you want some more? Oh, certainly. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> It is really nice to see you again. You're looking good. Well, Your Highness, we've never met before. Oh, of course we haven't. <laughs> Your eyes seems to be telling me to go and never come back. Your Highness, it is not so. <laughs> of course I know. Look, you are in safe hands. And do take care of yourself. And please, also, take care of these little angels. Yes, Your Highness. Melissa. <laughs> Your Highness. Uh, all right, King. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> so, you really miss your mom, huh? So much. Oh. Every nanny that comes here tries to take her place. But I don't know how that can work. No one can take your mommy's place. It would be very silly of me to try to be who I'm not. I can only try to make you comfortable and be happy. You want to make us happy? Yes. <coughs> David, Elizabeth, give me a chance to help you. Let us do this together. I would love to see you be the best prince and princess any kingdom can have. You can't take care of us. I can't take care of children when you don't have one. Oh, come on, David. At least I know a thing or two about taking care of children. Do you think I really qualified to take care of me and my sister? I don't think she is. Hey, what do you people want, eh? I am trying my best. What do you want? We want her, auntie. She, she takes good care of us. <sighs> That is something. We don't want that nanny. She's too harsh on us. Why'd you say that, my boy? 
She's making us do hard things. Like today, she forced David to say sorry to Ibru. Why would she do that? I don't know. She even sees my tab. Why would she do such a thing? She even sees the TV removed to our living room. Abomination. Um, okay. You guys can go to your room. Follow your brother to your room. And you can go out and play. Listen, I don't want to relapse. I'm trying to build a relationship with these children. But my king, giving them all the wants is not the right thing to do. Melissa, don't interfere. My lord, perhaps if you spend more time with these children, you will build a good relationship. They need you, but you're never there to make up the loss of their mother. And I'm a king. I have duties to perform. I have matters of the land to attend to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you all say that? Please get another line. I'm sorry, my king. I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, my king. All I was just trying to say was... My relationship with my children <sighs> is none of your business. Sorry. If you want to stay here, you keep doing what you're here to do. Yes, my king. We don't know that you took from them immediately. You're dismissed. Yes, my king. Unbelievable. Okay, how how to deal with stubborn children. In fact, very stubborn children. Stubborn. Wake wake Elizabeth. Rise and shine. What is it? It is morning. You're gonna get up now, you clean up your room, and meet me downstairs in 20 minutes. We're having breakfast with your father. What? You heard me. Clean your room, and meet me downstairs in 20 minutes. And don't forget to say good morning to your father at the table. Hmm? 20 minutes. Now, oh, I've told you not to be startling me like that. What's your, what's your problem? You don't even get Lula. You don't get strong mind at all. Cool. Wait till the shell for this half now. I don't understand though. Miracle could only happen for you. Oh. What happened? Ah, this morning, you know, Taro is going go for this half I just saw the prince and the princess. They don't greet everybody. Good morning. Ekaro, Shejiro, Boni Show, Bolo Shindo, Sewa Pau. I just surprised so. Wait till it happen now. I don't understand though. All this boy we say, now like this, I should have be. They come they say, good morning to hold me. I feel. Okay, the mm -hmm. prince and the princess were greeting everybody. Yes. And that is a problem. Meli, I know what I stand though. My Wait. name is Melissa. Oh, that Melissa too. What in the shell and tell me, make her know. I know what I stand though. Hey. Hey bro, is that all? Yes. That's all you want to say? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Alright children, time to study. 
Would you mind spending some time with your children, please? Uh, me, me with the They're children? They're waiting for you at the garden. Me yeah. and the children? Yes, Your Highness. Now? Yes, Your Highness. Melissa, what have you done to my children? I don't understand what you're talking about, Your Highness. Why are you messing with their heads? Suddenly they're good. Suddenly they want to go to school. And Your Highness, suddenly they want to do things their mates do. And who are you to run their lives for them? Your Highness, I was just trying to help. You are nothing but a peasant maid. Some beggar whom I decided to take pity on to clothe and feed. Your Highness, I might be a maid, I might be a peasant, but I am still human. I am a woman. I deserve to be treated with fairness, Your Highness. I do my best. Yes, Your Highness, you do your best. And that is why I'm trying to pay you back in the same coin. I don't need your payback. Okay? I can take care of my children. So don't just do anything. Alright? Mind your business. Your job here is to wait on my children and not turn them into zombies. Yes, Your Highness. We want to go to Grandpa and Grandma. At least we get to see our dear Aunt Edith. Never. It is better. Never. Your Aunt Edith and your late mother's parents have caused enough havoc in my life. In our lives. Why, Father? Why can't we go and spend time with our grandparents? After all, you don't have time for us. That was how it stood our mother till she died. Elizabeth, what was that about? I was hearing your voice from downstairs. Family matters, and it is none of your business. Hey, young man, don't talk to me like that. Don't what? talk to my son like that. But your highness, that is not a proper way Leave me alone, Melissa. You are depressing me. I want my life back. Leave us alone. I want my auntie Edith. Uh, uh, David, you're being hysterical, okay? I won't let you kill me like you killed my mother. Leave us alone. We want our grandma. Why is this place like this? Oh, your Highness. Like how, Your Highness? Are you blind? Can't you see? Can't you see that this whole place is upside down? But Your Highness, I have not done anything wrong. That's not the point. The point is, you haven't done anything at all, all day. What's wrong with you? What's your problem? But Your Highness, you said my job is just to wait on your children. Yes, I said that. And to also clean up their mess. I don't want to come home and find my kids you sitting down in a dirty environment. Your Highness. What? You warned me against meddling with their affairs. You said I was employed just to be their nanny. You said I should not do anything anymore, that I should leave. I said that. Yes, Your Highness. So, so what are you doing here? Eh? Well, uh, I'm, I am yet to get paid for this month. And in fact, I can't even wait to leave. Because you, just like your children, you're such a handful. You're unbelievable. It's not even as if the pay is fantastic. Well, 
If the pay is not good, so what are you still doing here? Well, um, I might just get leaving then. Fine. Leave. Leave right away. Get out right now. Yes, Your Highness. Don't ever, ever come back. Right away, Your Highness. Where are my children? Still in bed, Your Highness. And what's that bag for? It's mine. I'm ready to leave. And what are you waiting for? Eh? Money. I'll have someone wire money into your account. But I don't have any money to take me out of here, Your Highness. What could I have expected from someone who sways a big backside around the palace aimlessly? I beg your pardon? At least I'm better of some bald-headed, queenless king! All you do is boss people around! How do you even sleep at the <laughs> Doctor says you're pregnant. I am pregnant. I am pregnant. I am pregnant. I should have known. You women can never be trusted. You must always find a way to mess it up. You will always find a way to cheat. So that was it. She cheated. And you decided to kill her. Don't judge me. You're going to leave the palace at once. Go back to the father of your child. And I don't want to ever, ever see you again. I've been waiting for light. I've been searching for faith. Oh, I have been stupid sometimes. I've been searching. Well, like I was saying, Edith, the crown does not belong to the dead, but the living. Sooner than later, I would find myself a worthy queen. You have to get used to that. After all the sacrifices I've made for you, you have the guts to stoop this low? Edith, why are you chasing shadows? You and I can never be. You're my late wife's sister. I'm a woman who loves you. I fell in love with you the first day I met you. You spoke to me first. Until my sister sweet talked to you and took you away from me. If you had married me, I wouldn't have cheated on you. Can't you see, Josiah? Give me a chance. <coughs> Your Highness, I was just leaving. And so are you, Edith. You and I can never walk, okay? So, so long. And say me well to your parents. Why didn't you tell us what's happened, Dad? All these years, we hated you for killing our mother. You never tried to defend yourself, Daddy. Why? My children, I... I just didn't want to break your heart more than it already was. I just didn't want to hurt you guys. And you allowed our auntie to tell us lies about you. I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry to daddy. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. But I'm glad you know the truth now. I'm sorry to daddy. Pregnant? How come? <laughs> you see, that prank of yours will not work, okay? You left me. 
And besides, you see, I found myself a worthy queen. One who's going to give me the heir to my throne. A bouncing baby boy. Adeswa, you left me. What were you expecting? Me to wait for you? That's not gonna happen. Maroba, she has been gone for too long. Obviously, you are not responsible for this bastard she's carrying. How dare you, you unfortunate being? And how dare you call me with a bastard to this palace? What an atrocity! I promise you, you will regret this! Shut up. We'll go inside. Fabian, I have not come to be taken back. I have only come to inform you that I am carrying your baby. Mm, how convenient. Well, if a DNA test proves that, what? by the time you put to bed, then I'll know what to do. Talk to me, say something. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Please. Don't go, please. I'm sorry I can't stay home. I'm sorry. Okay, even if you don't want to stay, just tell me where you're going. Let me know where you're going, please. I promise you I'll be safe. Don't worry about me. Please. Okay. Okay. Since you're adamant, you don't want to tell me where you're going and you don't want to stay. Okay, I want to leave. But please, I want you to know my heart stays with you. I'll pray for you every step of the way and I'll always call you from time to time. Thank you so very much, Mom. I really appreciate this. I will never forget you. <laughs> well, um, we are looking for... I actually came to visit an old friend. So I thought I should just come pay homage to my king. <laughs> right, huh? My king. Yes. <laughs> oh. And here comes my very beautiful sister, Princess Adesua. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa? Melissa? Your Highness. When the driver told me he dropped you off at the palace, I thought it was the tradition here. And when my palace became unbearable to live in, I sought out to look for you. When I saw the king's portrait, it didn't register until I saw you. I'm, I'm short of words, Your Highness. So you're a queen? Was a queen. An abused queen. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Don't be sorry for me, Your Highness. How about your husband? I'm sorry, your ex-husband. What did he say about the baby? He cared less. Wow. He's gotten another bride. She's pregnant. Wow. And she boasts that she's carrying the hair. <sighs> Tough luck. Enough of me, Your Highness. How are the kids? Your Highness? That is so. What troubles you so? Your brother was worried when he called me. Queen Esosa, 
I said I am fine. Obviously, you are not. Adesua. Worry makes the heart grow weak. Is it because of the stranger? He is no stranger to me. You have been troubled ever since he came. Queen Isosa. What do I do? It is clear you don't want to be here. Go with him. Like this? Why not? He saw you like this. Yet he begged you to return because the kids need you. Still as a maid? A nanny? He promised more money and better package for you. I can't go back there as a maid for all the money in the world. Why not? I love him. Oh my God. Yet I'm carrying another man's child. Adesua. <laughs> you? In love? Adesua, I need you to come with me. Please say something. Talk to me. My king, what would you have me say? Anything. Just talk to me. Look at me. I am with a child. Of what good will I be to you? I need you to come with me nonetheless. I can't. I'm not leaving without you. Why? Why do you want me back so desperately? Because I... I just want... I... Uh, my children, they need you. Your children? Huh? vote for the baby. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. I will make sure I tell her about your generosity. Huh? Yes. This chum I'm seeing here seemed like a tiger. <laughs> 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 uh, can I? Can I? Oops. I just felt it kick. Did you feel that? Your Highness, I told you I am having a princess. Girl. No, oh, she can keep it. What would I do with a baby girl? I've got a queen that will give me a bouncing baby boy. Well, you know the rest of the story. <laughs> There is nothing as sweet as a good love story. King Josiah proposed, well, you know, in his very proud and pompous way. <laughs> That's not true. I proposed on my knees, in my shining armor and... King Josiah found himself a true worthy queen at last. And they made babies like every other year, boys and girls. <laughs> but as for King Fabian, unfortunately, he got himself plenty of miscarriages, year after year, queen after queen. And that was how King Josiah and Queen Melissa... Queen Adesua, please. Yes, Your Highness, Queen Adesua. King Josiah and Queen Adesua lived, lived happily, happily ever, ever after. after. <laughs> Just to walk with me. <laughs>
Thank you. 